Good morning, everyone. Um, hope all of you are doing good. Morning, Doctor. Morning. Okay, uh, I think we have to start uh, by 10 o'clock, but it's already uh, five minutes late. Uh, it will be okay uh, if I can start right now because we don't have much time to cover everything. Uh, prescribed time is just two hours. So I have to cover a few important things that you could do uh, in reference management. I hope my sound is very clear. Uh, let me check my technical side. Okay, uh, now even better because I have increased my volume at maximum level. <laughs> okay, and I hope uh, this content will be recorded accordingly. Uh, to make sure the flow is can be repeatedly watched again and again. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, good morning uh, again. Uh, before I start the session, uh, let me tell uh, some important information in this session. Uh, this session is uh, more to the event based, or we call it a WebEx event. So you have no chance to ask question within, uh, I mean, during the session. So you may ask question uh, in chat box. Okay, chat box is always open. Uh, so you can ask in chat box. So if I can see, even I open my chat box on the right panel, or oh, sorry, left uh, right panel. So I can uh, either promptly answer your question, or I will collect all of the questions and answer in the end of the session. Okay. So I go for either way, uh, based on my convenience. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I have few uh, slide to show. Uh, this session going to be uh, two different modes. One is uh, slide based. Another one is uh, more to uh, <clears throat> display. It means I have to show to you okay, uh, the actual function of the reference management. Okay. I think most of you are aware about the reference management and also the importance of reference management. Okay, reference management means it's not only citation. Okay, for example, uh, we have been instructed to do uh, references, citation, and bibliography, or we call it reference list. And that one uh, should follow a certain standard which has been set by the university. Okay, if let's say University Malaya, maybe different. University Utara Malaysia, quite a bit different. It means the style. Okay, reference style. If you go to UKM, it's more to customize, okay, UKM style. So in I think uh, in UEM it's mostly uh, APA, okay, APA. I'm not sure whether APA seven or APA six, but there are some differences between APA seven and APA six. But if you can use APA seven, nothing wrong. Don't use APA four or APA five. Do not use that one. It's quite old. Nowadays, we use APA 6 and APA 7 because uh, there are a few things we have to give importance when we write the paper, especially the reference. Okay, Reference will determine whether you are referring to the credible source or not. That is very, very important. That's why, you know, reference management is very important. And people can, I know, people means a reviewer, your reader can check back your source of reference. Okay? So that's why... We have to manage our references, especially during your master and PhD, including your undergraduate. Okay, uh, and we are not going to deal with one or I mean, not only uh, ten references. It's going to be three hundred, four hundred. Okay, sometimes you know uh, more than that, but more than that is uh, not recommended. Okay, do not go for that. Okay, lot of references. Okay. 
because you know which references will be in your uh, paragraph and also in your references okay whatever you cite it should be listed in your reference list that is very important so therefore we have been introduced okay not only me okay only, not only myself we have been introduced a lot of surface okay by our lecturers you know by our friends or whoever okay collaborate with you okay for example some people recommend endnote okay endnote some people recommend zotero some people say oh no need to use software you can uh, use your manual you know brain function to organize everything uh, that is quite difficult to organize nowadays okay therefore uh nowadays people start to use uh, many softwares but today i'm going to focus on only mentally okay reference management the importance of the reference management i'm focusing on mentally uh, software as a main tool for reference manager okay reference management means very simple okay it's not only site and create a references not only that okay nowadays it's beyond that function site and create a bibliography or we call it create a reference list not only that okay so i'm going to cover a few things through mendeley software okay for your information i'm a mendeley advisor community okay it's mean i'm a certified mendeley trainer okay uh, i'm not sure whether 2 hours is sufficient enough or not to cover every topic every sub topics in this um, event okay or in this software okay there are so many functions um okay <clears throat> first of all you have to understand mendeley is free okay mendeley is free second is a cloud based software okay cloud based reference management software okay it's mean you can keep your article in the reference library in a cloud it mean if anything happened to your computer for example crash or stolen or broken whatever is it you still can retrieve the entire reference library without missing single file as long as you have sync sync mean you have concurrently okay updated your reference list okay i'm going to show everything how to manage your reference so basically before i go to slide basically it's more to okay create your reading list okay reading article list or reading material list in your mendeley second is create your citations third is create your reference list this is the core function of the reference management software yet there are some additional function really can boost your writing productivity okay most of you are facing a problem to find out right article or perfect article for your references because you cannot cite any article in your uh, paragraph you have to make sure the article or material that you have chosen is a uh, well fit to that content that you have or you are going to write in your thesis or in your article or in your any manuscript okay hold on eh? okay uh, i think so far is clear about the reference management the important functions of the reference management okay okay uh i supposed to show this one but anyway i have explained about the software first before i introduce myself <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Because Webex, I'm not giving trouble. 
changing the background. Uh, let me choose the blank background. Okay. Give me one minute. Has some problems, technical fault. Okay, so Let me share the screen again. Okay. Uh, okay. So my full name is uh, Matiwanan Jagannathan. Okay. And you can check about, oh, sorry. I think all of you can see the screen over here. Okay. If you do have any problem, you can put it in chat so I can uh, sort it out immediately. Okay, uh, introduction to Mendeley for reference management. So I'm not going to limit you, all of you. Just use Mendeley for your reference management. I can recommend some other softwares, for example, Zotero, EndNote, okay, Bibtex, and so on. There are so many softwares. However, I really you know, appreciate if you do can, uh, you know, <clears throat> use this software, Mendeley, because Mendeley, it belongs to Elsevier. And for your information, when you write any article right now, they will ask your reference should be in a format, which has used, you know, something like a Mendeley, EndNote, or any software for the editing purposes. So make sure you use any software. If you use Mendeley, it will be great for the editors to edit the, your paper or to customize your paper accordingly. Okay. So this is my full profile. So if you want to contact me, so you can check my profile, okay, in my website. Okay, M-A-T-H-I-J-L.com. That is my website. If you go to my website, you can check my entire profile. So this is my profile uh, apart from Mendeley Advisor. So. So these are the things, okay? Okay. This note you can get from uh, internet. If you go to internet, you can get it, okay? But I will uh, give it to you after the session. Uh, maybe I can pass to uh, Madam Nisa, so you can contact her, okay? Or I can put in the, any, uh, Cloud base, then I can share in the chat box in the end of the session. Okay. Okay, what is Mendeley? Very simple. So, when you want to organize the reference, okay, you have to understand uh, the fundamental things. So, why you want to organize your reference? That is very important. Okay. First is you have to organize your reference. Before, I mean, talking about 10 years back or 20 years back, people organize their references in the computer and they will print out and they put in the stack you know big stack of the you know papers and they will refer manually nowadays you don't need to think about all of that you just organize in your mendeley okay and you can read and annotate it's mean whenever you read your articles okay you can read through soft copy through mendeley and also you can annotate. Annotate means you can put some notes or some important points over there. And seamlessly, you can cite the reference as you write. When you write, okay, you can immediately cite the paper, okay, without any uh, errors. As long as your 
metadata is correct okay metadata is uh title you know general name and everything okay that is we call it metadata okay okay so another one is collaborate collaborate mean another function for example you can collaborate even with your supervisor your supervisor your collaborators is mean your writers your co-writers co-authors okay write the reference list and they can check your references and they can take your references instead of taking all of the reference put in the zip mode and send through email you can collaborate directly through software you can do that okay so that is the main function of mendeley okay okay uh talking about two years back mendeley and right now mendeley even four months back mendeley okay four months back and right now mendeley is totally different okay for your information Mendeley was discovered or was invented or was uh, produced okay by one uh, I think two or three I think two or three PhD student I think originally from German okay originally from German it was invented or created by the PhD student who are frustrated with existing software so they came up with the idea of creating a software which can organize and do a lot of wonderful things okay um, so they came up with the you know idea of creating a software and what happened after a few years okay the mendeley bought over by elsevier now mendeley under elsevier okay i think you know elsevier elsevier control mendeley scopus.com and so many uh, systems okay scopus is under elsevier mendeley is under elsevier Okay. but still free but different functions some fun function has been uh, removed from the software but they move to online base okay so i will give uh, some hints how you can use uh, tactically okay so mendeley.com you have to go to mendeley.com to download the software okay there are two types of software. Last time, few types. Okay, now they change. Last time, you know, you can use uh, in Android, iPad, you can use as a Mendeley desktop. It means in your computer, you can use that. Okay, but nowadays, uh, I think they already discontinue mobile base. And also, they already discontinue Mendeley desktop now they came up with the idea of mendeley reference manager still for the desktop but the name has changed mendeley reference manager okay and i was informed through email uh, and also through forum mendeley desktop development or support will be discontinued by september but we still can use that software and that software will be uh, beneficial for you if you are using so therefore i'm going to use or i'm going to teach you two different softwares today but both uh more or less same function what function you can read annotate you can cite and also you can create a group and organize your library okay so in the meantime i will teach you mendeley.com okay mendeley.com is a like a database okay it's like a database which uh synced most of the databases and you can search article from here and you can directly create a link or you can click that function you can post the article into your library so maybe you can't get the clear picture if i talk like this i will show it to you uh practically okay okay so mendeley reference management you have to go to their website please go it support windows mac os and linux okay linux user very rare okay i'm using linux okay now no now windows okay and also mac 
and most of us using Windows. So you can download Mendeley. Okay, while I'm talking, maybe you can download and install. You go here, this one. Okay. If you go to the website, maybe I can put in uh, you know chat box. Just go here and download this one. Okay. This is latest software. Okay, by Elsevier, but they remove some functions from the original software. It's very very limited function. So therefore, I'm going to teach you two things. This software is going to be a uh, new software by Elsevier. But initially, this software was called as Mendeley Desktop. You still can download, but this software will be discontinued by September. The support and development. But you still can use. Remember, you still can use, but support and development of the software will be discontinued okay but i highly recommend to you to use both okay there are pro and cons okay so you click learn more and download also this software download now okay download now and install it okay uh sorry maybe i can share it again uh, some said didn't get the uh... okay okay this is another link okay i think you got it okay good okay let it look at this one okay with Mendeley desktop you can easily organize and search your personal library okay that is the beauty of Mendeley desktop you can search within within the library that you have stored before you start to work okay so they recommend both software actually Mendeley desktop and also Mendeley reference manager okay so what you can do uh, you can read the functions over here okay okay i'm going to teach you three okay first install the software both software and go to mendeley.com mendeley.com those who have used this software maybe you are a bit familiar okay uh, go to this Okay, and create account. If you do have account of Scopus.com, you can use the same account. For example, you have account, let's say, Mohammed at uh, gmail.com. Okay, now you want to use, no problem, you can use it. Just sign in. If you don't have, you create an account. Create account. Okay, so use another account. You can create account over here. Maybe amat at gmail.com. Okay. Uh, if you have done this before this, you can just sign in only. Okay. For example, I just sign in. I'm going to use this software. Sorry, uh, this email. This is my uh, working email. Okay, working email. For the training, I will use this training, uh, this email, because uh, it will give better idea how to start and do. Okay, so I will show it to you. How does it looks like? Okay, how it looks like? Okay. Okay, you see. So you will get something like this. First, Mendeley.com in a web, okay, web base. Second is
Mendeley Reference Manager. I, I, I think you can see the my mouse. This is the thing. Mendeley Reference Manager. This one, and another one is the Mendeley Desktop. This one. Mendeley Desktop and Mendeley Reference Manager. So I will show it to you three functions. Okay. Uh, three software functions. Sorry. Three software functions. Okay. First, this one. Done. Okay. Just go. Later, I will show it to you how to use that. Okay. And how to organize your reference. Second is Mendeley Desktop and Mendeley Reference. Okay. Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay. When you open, use the same account okay now i want to use uh, the existing one which i use every day sign in okay is very very basic function nothing else you can do okay but lcvr nowadays highly recommend to use this one because combination of this one and this website sufficient to organize your library and cite your articles okay and also you can use mendeley to search the article very very useful okay but I prefer to use Mendeley Desktop, which will be discontinued very soon. Okay, Mendeley Desktop. Mendeley Desktop will clear will give you clear picture rather than uh, Mendeley Reference Manage Manager. Okay, uh, you see, this is my everyday uh, Mendeley software. Every day I'm using this one. Okay. So I keep almost 3,532 articles, okay, because I'm using Mendeley since I think seven years, seven, eight years, seven years, I think, seven, eight years, okay. So I kept a lot of a lot of manuscripts, articles, theses, and so on. So if you use Mendeley Desktop, you will get a clear picture how many articles you have in your library. Okay, this is your library, and these are the functions okay uh, tools and so on you can use okay but today i'm going to uh teach you from scratch so i'm going to log out this account okay so when you build your library it's going to be like this and you can create a folder like this so it's more organized compared to reference manager see you see here whatever i have here Okay, for example, uh, bibliometry, adoption, brain, okay, business innovation as a folder, I can see in my account as well. Same account, right? So I can see here. See? Government support. Okay, everything I can see. And also I can see in my online, this one. When I click this one, library, over here, if you look at the function here, library, okay, because it's a cloud base, everything well organized you see i can see in my library online it's syncing make sure you connect to the internet better okay so it sync and it's update so everything so three softwares three systems mendeley reference manager mendeley desktop and also this one but when you want to cite your articles in your microsoft word you have to use reference manager or mendeley desktop you cannot use web base you cannot cite it just to view the article and read the articles okay so this is the first step okay first step you can do so i give you five minutes to install and create an account of Mendeley okay then you start your Mendeley first okay I'll give you five minutes okay take rest and also five minutes to check everything okay then I will teach you 
step by step and how to organize you know how to develop your own reference management library okay okay see you in five minutes
Okay, welcome back. I hope uh, all of you done uh, as I instructed just now. I have one question here. Uh, question from um, Amira. Okay, Miss Amira. Uh, Amira Azrina. Okay. Uh, just install and login. I have a question. I understand that we can still use, but later after the discontinuation of Mendeley, it will have other version or will stuck to the past version of the Mendeley. Okay. Your question is very simple. Okay, answer is very simple. Sorry. Um, Mendeley desktop will be there forever without support and uh, development. It's made. You still can use that software, but there is no update. Okay, there is no other new function will be installed in your uh, Mendeley desktop. So now it's really perfect. Okay, you can use. But I highly recommend to use Mendeley desktop right now because it will make your life easier than Mendeley Reference Manager. But after maybe after six months, then you can slowly move to Reference Manager. In the meantime, you can use both, no problem. It won't create uh, any conflict in your Mendeley or reference list. You still can use because you are linked to a single system, which is synced system, okay, by using a single account. Don't use uh, Amar at gmail.com for the Mendeley desktop. Suddenly go to the reference manager. You use Amar79 at gmail.com and suddenly you go to Mendeley.com. You use Amar2019 at gmail.com. Three different accounts cannot be synced, even though same, soft, uh, same computer. It should be linked or synced through same email ID. So you don't worry about discontinuation. They are just discontinuing the support. That's it. Okay, so don't worry, Amira. I think you got my answer. You still can use even I, myself. You know, I'm using Mendeley Desktop rather than Mendeley Reference Manager because it make my life easier. Okay. Thank you. Uh, did you get my answer, Amira? Amira. Okay, never mind. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so these are the slides. Okay, I will share. Okay, share to uh, Madam Nisa so she will upload somewhere, maybe in website or in any link. Okay. Okay. When you install the software, okay. Mendeley Reference Manager or Mendeley Desktop app, you need to install Mendeley Web Importer. It means you can directly import from the browser. It means uh, when you search in Google Scholar or any uh, databases, you can directly import the article and keep in your library, automated. Okay, you don't need to worry about anything. Okay. Okay, so how to build? Uh, so I think I have covered this one. Okay, uh, this is a video. So let me go to uh, directly to the software. Okay. So it's quite uh, conflictful because I have to use two different software, but I will focus on many desktop. Okay. So I'm going to use a different account, empty account. So I'm going to sign out. Okay. And please make sure you stay signing. Otherwise you have to uh, type your email ID every time you log in. Okay. Okay, I sign in. Okay. Next. Yes, next. Close. Okay. And it will automatically ask here. So I will log in in my Mendel Reference Manager as well. Okay. 
Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Empty, nothing. Oke. Okay. So this is my memory desktop. Oke. Okay. I remove everything, okay? And also I will go to mendel.com. I will use the same account. Sign out. I still go to this one. And when I sign in, it will go to LCV. Okay. So I'm going to use this one. Oh. Then, you see, this is actually LCV, product of LCV but originally from German PhD student. Okay, so now I have connected same account. So if I go to library, I can see only, and I can look at my article, that's it. Okay, so if I delete this one, here, I delete. Okay, I delete this one as well. Okay, you see, it has been removed. Okay, TSA UEM has been deleted in the reference manager. Okay. Okay, and also in Mendeley desktop. Okay, I have to sync right now. So if I sync here, uh, TSA UEM, uh, this is the beauty of syncing everything. If I create some folder here, okay, uh, ABC123. So one folder here. If I go to Mendeley here, okay. If I sync, click sync. Okay, I can see ABC one two three here, and also I can see ABC one two three uh, here. If I click delete. Here, it will be deleted in Mendeley Reference Manager and also Mendeley Desktop is not deleted because it's not sync. Oh, I sync, deleted. So that's a, a beauty of doing sync. Okay. I, I, there are some questions uh, over here. Just install, okay. Uh, Okay, why mine is right like this? Uh, the word plugin need to needs to be updated. Needs to be update. Okay, I will touch about this one after this. Okay, Mendel Desktop was unable to connect with your account at mendel.com. Please check your username and password. Uh, this is uh, some typical problems. Okay, uh, Mendel Desktop was unable to connect with your account at mendel.com. Are you using the same email ID or not? I can't see from here. Maybe you can communicate with me, okay, after the sessions, because I have to see the screen. Okay, sometimes, you know, it's because of the cookies in your uh, browser. You detect and it will be a conflict, okay? Okay, I will leave my uh, number, okay? You can co uh, communicate with me or you can come to my room, office, okay, office room. Okay. Now we move to uh, how we can use. Thank you, Amira. Uh, you can communicate with me after the session because uh, I have to see the screen. Okay. Okay. You see here, so everything is done. Okay. First of all, what you have to do is, okay, in your Mendeley Reference Manager, you go here, you click Tools, and you can. If you click search for articles, it will go to browser, this one. Okay, but this is Mendeley Reference Manager, not Mendeley Desktop. Eh? Okay. You click tool, first you click install Mendeley Web Importer. Click this one. Okay, it will go here. And you can go here, get Web Importer for Chrome. 
even you can use for uh, I'm not sure whether it's available for the Firefox or not. Last time it's available. Never mind. We use Chrome first. Okay, Web Importer for Chrome. You click. So my one is already there. That's why it shows uh, remove from Chrome. But your one maybe add. Okay, you just add it. So once you add it, you have to check here. Can you see this one? My Mendeley Web Importer is here. Okay, if you can't see that, okay, if you can see that, what you have to do is you click this one, this function, jigsaw puzzle uh, function. Okay, this button. You click this one and make sure you pin that. If I unpin, disappear. If I pin, it will appear. That is the first thing you have to do. Okay, I think you can follow this. Second is install Mendeley site for Microsoft Word. This function is more to plug in. If you are using old version of the Microsoft Word, please make sure that is Microsoft Word. Do not use WPS. If you're using WPS or you are using unlicensed Microsoft Word, it's going to be give a trouble. Please make sure you're using the licensed version of the Microsoft Word. UUM give free version for you. Okay, Microsoft Word 365, please install it. UUM give. If it, uh, even myself using UUM account. I think for students, you can get the Microsoft Word 365 free for five license. Okay, five devices or five, getting one license, but five devices. You can get it. Okay, 365, you don't need to buy. Okay. So what you do, you click this one. It will go directly here. Something like this. And you click get it now. Get it now. Then get it now. Just follow the process. Click, 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 then it will appear. Okay. So you have to log in, you know? Okay. It will authorize. Okay. So I don't want to waste time. It will authorize, then you just click. Okay. So once you've done this one, okay, you can go to your Microsoft Word. You can see your install Mendeley site in your references. When you click references, you can see over here, Mendeley site. Okay, when you click this one, Mendeley site, you can see everything here. Okay, for the first time, you have to log in. Get started. It will directly go something like this and use your existing license. Okay, so I use another account. Same account, InfoNest. Okay, this one. Continue. Okay, so I'm um, just hold on. Huh? Uh, I'm looking at to. Uh, Looking at the another screen, do not confuse. Okay. Okay. So I think you can see my screen perfectly. Okay. So it's going to be like this. Okay. So you can ref. You don't see anything because it's been added in your library, empty library. That's why you don't see anything. 
if you want to add this one this mendeley function you can add manually also that is one function insert you can go to uh, get adding if you are using old version of microsoft word you can't get it okay old version mean maybe 2013 microsoft word that you are using when you are undergraduate student uh, so it won't function okay so you can uh, search here also then you can directly add it's more easier okay rather than go there okay just add Oop. you can continue uh, so it's already there so it's already added okay that is for the mendeley reference manager for the mendeley desktop it's a different story okay for the mendeley reference okay sorry mendeley desktop you have to close your microsoft word first and also you have to close all of your microsoft application word uh, powerpoint whatever is it you just close then you have to include your microsoft plugin okay what you do is okay you go to tools this is mendeley desktop eh? mendeley desktop click tool you don't need to install web importer same function you what you do is install ms word plugin get mendeley site same like a mendeley reference manage, manager and in okay just click this one ah. it's already installed in your mendeley reference management software okay so what you do is okay very simple you have to do you go to mendeley uh, sorry uh, word when you go to references This is because of Mendeley Reference Manager. This one because of your Mendeley Desktop. Can you see this one? Instant Citation, Open Mendeley. When you click Open Mendeley, it will open Mendeley Desktop. Ah, you see? It will go to Mendeley Desktop. But when you click this one, it will go to Mendeley Reference Manager. But make sure you use either software. Don't confuse yourself with the both software. Better use the Mendeley Desktop. Mendeley reference manager okay but i can handle both okay any question before i proceed further this is the fundamental function of the mendeley before we start to use any question is it everything okay perfect Okay, all right. Okay. So now we see, okay, in uh, Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay. So what you have to do is first you have to create a library. It means you have to add the article in your library to read and cite. Okay. So what you have to do is there are some functions you can use. I will teach you few functions. Either you add file manually or you can add file semi-auto and you can add file fully auto. Okay. <laughs> so what is that actually? Okay. What you can do is you can add over here. This is Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay. You can add either add entry manually you can entry manually entry manually mean maybe that book in not in soft copy but you can add entry manually so what you can do is there are few type of entry manually okay first you have to choose which type conference proceedings book film hearing or whatever is it so mostly general article Okay, then you can type the title. You can type the title, but nowadays general title, general article available uh, in internet. Okay, so it's very easy. So you can add manually, but I'm not going to teach you how to add manually because it's a very simple function. 
if you feel it's very difficult to uh, add manually like this, there are another way of add manually. You can use DOI or you can use RxVID, but mostly DOI. For example, you go to an article, let's say you go to this article. Okay. Let's say you go to scopus.com. Okay. You find out the article, uh, let's say smart retailing. Today I'm going to use one term. Okay. Smart retailing. I want to search about smart retailing. That is my latest research. Okay. Smart retailing. So just click smart retailing. So I can search 2002, 22, only two article. Okay, I just click limit to smart retailing, only two article. Okay, uh, smart retailing article. Okay. So if you don't want, I maybe I can choose any article. Eh? Okay. For example, okay, maybe I can choose 21. Okay. Limit to. Okay. This is a function. While I'm telling you uh, about uh, many reference manager, slightly I will teach you some tactics to search. Okay, so you see. So there are so many articles. So what I can do, uh, I click this one. I just copy the DOI. Okay, I just copy DOI, this one. And I go to Mandy Reference Manager. I just put paste here. Search. Automatically detected. What motivate customer? Okay. Chang, you you don't need to you know uh, edit everything. You see, Journal of Retailing and Commerce. Okay, volume fifty eight. Am I right? You see, you can cross check. Ah. Yes, this is Journal of Retailing, volume fifty eight, January twenty twenty one. Okay. Okay, uh, so this is a main function, then you can add entry. Okay, one article is over here, but without the text. But if you add the text, it will be added automatically. Okay, for example, okay, I want to import from library, also can. Or you want to files from computer. Okay, files from computer, it's mean, files from computer mean you can add your PDF, and you can read that PDF. Okay, for example, files from computer. I want to add, maybe I want to add like this. Okay. Uh, interesting article. Where is it? Eh? Oh my God. Ah, okay. So I add manually. Okay. So what is the difference uh, between these two? The first one is add entry manually, but without PDF. But this one, I add PDF with PDF. So I can click and read. I can click, I can view that PDF like this. Ah, I see. I can view this PDF. It's syncing. Okay. Then I can close this one. This is so-called Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay. Ah. Uh, so already added to that, you see here, it automatically will be added in my library web-based and also in my Mendeley desktop. Okay. I just think, oh, magically it will appear. Okay, two articles will be appear here. Okay, just magic. Okay, wait there. If doesn't appear something wrong with the account, maybe you are using the wrong account. Okay, we go to here, this one. I go to the my library. Okay, I see. Web base, reference manager, and also Mendeley. Desk oh, sorry, Mendeley desktop. Something wrong. Okay. Okay. Yes. I quit and come back. Eh? Hmm. 
Ah, okay. You see, sometimes you know you have to log out and come back again. Ah, now the both article available here, you still can read. Oh. Okay, let me answer a few questions. There are some questions over here. Okay. How about the WPS? How to download the Mandarin site? Uh, Ying Ying, I think I told you WPS, I think it's not compatible for the Mendeley site, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. It was not supported, WPS. I told you UUM give you free account of Microsoft Office 365. I think five license. Please go and get it. You can go from your portal. Okay. Uh, did you get my point in Ying Zhang? Oh, iOS system. No problem. iOS system, you still can use Microsoft Word. Okay. You can get Microsoft 365 Mac version. Okay. You can you can give you free you are a, if you are a student. Okay. It's a privilege for you. Okay. Just go to, uh, I don't want to touch about that one, but I can show it to you. Okay. Uh, Ying Ying Zhang, uh, uh, maybe you can communicate with me privately after the session. Okay. About the 365. Okay. I'm conducting 365 training in another training, not in Mendeley. Okay. Thank you, Ying Ying. Okay. I do appreciate. Okay. Um, okay. So you can see the how it can work seamless concurrently. Two updated here reference manager automatically updated in Mendeley desktop and also library of my web base. Okay. So first is you have to create your own library like this. Okay. okay. So in reference manager, very simple, only add entry manually, import library, and also you can create a collection. Collection means it's a new creating a folder. For example, uh, government support. Okay. If I save different file name in my laptop and desktop, but sync with the Mendeley Reference Manager, is the name will be updated in Word with correct one or folder file name. Uh, I can't get your point. Can you be more specific? If I save different file name in my laptop and desktop, but sync with Mendeley Reference Manager, is the same will update in Word with correct one or folder. Um, the author name is the same or different. Uh, okay, uh, maybe I can figure out the question. Uh, if I save, I told you. Mendeley is a cloud base. As long as you can log in by using the same email ID, it will sync even you use hundred different devices. Hundred laptop, under desktop computer. You still can work with the same library. Because it's a cloud base. The author name is the same or different. Uh, what do you mean by author name is the same or different? Uh, because uh, for your information, it's a cloud base. The author name will not be changed. Okay. It will sync. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Sure. Sure, Amira. You can see me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you have to understand the cloud. Cloud means everything in a single source. Even though you are using 100 devices, it's going to be same because it will refer to the single source. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to touch about Mendeley Reference Management uh, Manager because there are not many functions. Only file, uh, edit, tool, tool already covered. Okay. Add folder. Sorry. Add new. Entry manually, import from library. Sometimes maybe you are using EndNote. You can import from EndNote also. BibTeX also can. RIS also can. Okay. Add entry manually and add file from computer. 
okay and also you can create a folder like this and also you can create a group for example i create a group uh maybe i can create a group okay uh smart retailing smart retailing and you just type and enter okay so i delete this group i don't want you can rename also and you click manage group and you can invite the members i can invite up to 25 members okay i can invite for example i invite uh, this one my email own id here yeah? okay If possible, invite the member through their Gmail ID, which they are using for the manually as well. Better. Okay. Uh, how do I create my reference list using manually if I have more than 200 references? Okay. I will go, uh, Nura. Uh, one by one, I will go. But it's a bit difficult to do in Reference Manager. You can do it in Mendeley Desktop. Okay. So now we have uh, government support, Smart Retailing. So if I go here, I think. So I can see the same thing. Government support as a folder and also Smart Retailing in a group. In Mendeley Desktop and also in my web. You see, government support and Smart Retailing. Is it looks wonderful? Okay, this is very, very fundamental function. Okay, uh, Nura, I will come, I will answer your question uh, in short while. Okay, uh, I think you send to me privately. Okay, I have another screen, that's why I'm looking at another screen. Okay, just hold on. Okay, okay. now onwards. I will use Mendeley Desktop as a, my main software to organize my library. So I need to answer the question of Nora. Okay, Nora Bada Masi. Okay, by using Mendeley Desktop. Okay, I just minimize the reference manager. Okay, I minimize the web base. I open Mendeley Desktop. Okay. Your question is how I can create a list using Mendeley if I use more than 200 references. You can create wonderful, wonderful thing by using Mendeley Desktop. Okay. In Mendeley Desktop, there are a lot of functions. Okay. What you can do is tool is done ready. Okay. View. You can view like a library as a citation. You can view. Okay, before that, you have to use citation style. You have to choose which citation style you want to go for. If you can't find out here, you go to more style and you go to American. Um, UEM is more to APA. So you just type APA. Uh, you can't get it. So what you do is American psychological. Okay, which one you want to use? Okay, normal. Uh, we will use seventh edition. Don't use the abstract, yeah. Uh, that one for the other purposes. Okay, I don't want to touch about that one. Okay, use this style. Okay, done. So normally I don't like something like this. Okay, what I will do? I will change to library library as table. Okay, how to create a list more than two hundred references? Very easy only. Okay, first is you can add file manually like this, one by one. You go to uh, add files like this and go to desktop, okay, because I kept my file over there, okay. This is my folder. So I keep a lot of uh, articles over here, okay, for example, interesting article. So I can choose one or I can choose many by click shift okay press shift button and i can choose one two three four Hook. 
So immediately it will come like this. Okay. Uh, Nura, am I answer your question? You can add like this. Nura? Okay. Another way is, okay, I will go from uh, hardest to laziest way. This is hardest way, add file. Sometimes you can go for add folder. Add folder mean you have one folder in that folder full of articles. For example, I create one folder like this. Uh, this is the way of organizing your references. Okay, testing Mendeley. Okay, test Mendeley. Okay, so let's say I have a few articles over here. Okay, let's say I have uh, this article. So I have three articles over here. So what I can do in my Mendeley desktop, eh? okay. What I can do is I can add folder. Now you can see here eh, only six documents. So once I add, it's become nine documents. You can see total documents on the top, sorry, on the bottom here. You can see, okay. Let's say I add folder. I go to my desktop because the place that I kept my files. Okay. Um, so I just click uh, the file folder name is test Bendeley, right? I just click OK. I see. Three, one, two, three, which is highlighted, added from folder. You don't need to add manually. Oh, sorry, add files. That is so called add folder. Okay. And watch folder is a wonderful function. Okay. Add entry manually. Add entry manually is a manual function. Okay. No need to think about that. Okay. Okay. Now I want to teach you another function how you can add file before I go to watch folder. Okay. What you can do is, okay. You can drag, uh, sorry, you can drag and drop. For example, you have uh, this folder. Okay. What you can do is, you do like this. You can drag and drop. Just drag and drop. Okay. Just drag and drop. Okay, you see? Just drag and drop. If, let's say, Okay, ah. so we found 12 other PDF file, just um, review. Okay, ah, this one, no thanks. Okay, never mind. Okay, if let's say, maybe you have a question. If let's say I keep on uh, adding the same file, is it going to replace? Yes, it's going to replace. For example, Marsh, Marsh eligible, right, this one, the digital workplace. If let's say I add this file again, uh, which I don't know which uh, which one of these. Okay, let's say I open and see here. Yeah. Okay. This file actually is similar to this one. Marsh, Elizabeth, Vela, Jaws, Elsevira. If I add again, it will replace. It won't create another file. Okay, let's say I release here. Eh? I see nothing added because it's already there. It will replace. Uh, that is the beauty of the, I know, Mendy desktop. It won't consume your space because you have two GB free space. If you want to buy ten GB, you can uh, go to the mendeley.com and you can buy upgrade your packages. You can upgrade. Okay. I'm very sorry, sir. Need to go out another meeting. Very useful. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, sir, can I ask? Um, okay. Let me answer a few questions. Um, okay. 
for Malay reference, since I'm writing my thesis in Malay language, how should I write in my thesis? The father name or the writer name? The father name or writer name? Okay, uh, that is the, <laughs> um, the bad, I mean, the, something wrong with the system. Okay, in Malaysia, the problem is uh, our name, for example, Madhiwan and Jagannathan. So I have to my, write my name, Madhiwan and Jagannathan. I cannot write Jagannathan Madhiwan. Okay, because uh, that is our name, Madhiwan and Jagannathan. But when you cite, it will take Jagannathan, not Madhiwan, according to Jagannathan. Because that is the, you know, AP style. For example, uh, the, the Europeans or, you know, Westerners different. Okay. The name is Bill Gates. Actually, the Bill is a father name. Actually, uh, their family name, something like that. And Gates is a name. But our case is different. So you just proceed. If let's say your name is uh, Mariam Zulkifli, you just write Mariam Zulkifli. You don't write Zulkifli Mariam. Okay. If you write like that, it becomes, you know, according to Mariam, of course. But it will get some confusion. So better you consistent. But some people are very smart. They will go for very consistent, okay, consistent writing. Instead of writing Mariam Zulkifli, what they will do is Z dot Mariam. So automatically it's going to be according to Mariam. Okay, so this is very uh, famous question in my session. Okay, just write like that. Okay. Uh, if I delete the PDF in laptop, it will be deleted in the memory also? No, it won't delete because it's a cloud. Once you keep in your uh, memory desktop and sync, it will be in cloud. You can open this software in any other devices, it will be downloaded again. It, even though you delete from your PDF, sorry, from your folder of your computer, it won't delete from your library. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, for example, uh, uh, if you want to test uh, this one, right? Okay, Elizabeth, right? This article, this article is Elizabeth. I I delete this one. Delete. I still can. Okay, sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, I have to sync first. Okay, I have to sync first. Okay. Okay. Let's say Elizabeth, uh, I think this one, Elizabeth article, I delete. I still can open. But article deleted from my folder. Still can open because it will open from the cloud. Um, I answer your question. Okay, if I delete, okay, I answer that. I don't know why it shows a problem syncing mendeley.com library file name update as no extension. Uh, status code. Oh, this one. <laughs> this one you have to uh, close your Mendeley. Okay, make sure you are logging to the uh, correct email ID. Okay, then you do it again. Okay, how do, how to get in Mendeley? Um, Leak in. I can't get your mean of the answer. How to get in Mendeley? Okay. Uh, Dr. Uh, Ing, Ing, okay. Mendeley desktop has all the function of library. What are the special function of the desktop? Of desktop? Uh, Actually, I can't figure out the question. I can't understand the question. Okay. Uh, Mendeley Desktop is a, another version of the software. Okay. Mendeley Desktop, it's easy because full function compared to Mendeley Reference Manager. But the difference is the way you cite in Mendeley Reference Manager and Mendeley Desktop, it's quite different. Okay. How to link the Mendeley with the words if we write with correct citation in writing references? 
Uh, I will go to that one. Okay, how to link the Mendeley with the words if we write with the correct citation in writing references. Um, I think I will cover this one. Okay. Your question is, Amira, uh, how to link the Mendeley? Your Mendeley is already linked to the words when you install the, this one, tools, install MS Word plugin. So your already, you will have something like this. You go to references, you will have region something like this for the Mendeley desktop and you will have Mendeley site button for your reference manager. Okay. I think I answer my your question. Okay. If I don't answer your question, you can WhatsApp to me after the class. Okay. Okay. That is the function of add entry manually folder and file. Watch folder. What is that actually? Watch folder is one of the beautiful function. What you have to do is, okay, you have to create a folder. When you download the article, what you have to do is, you just download in that folder. But when you download articles or whatever manuscripts in that folder, it will be automatically, automatically added in your library. You no need to click at files, add folder or add entry manually, no need. It will be automatically added. Okay. So what you have to do is first step. Okay. Maybe after this, I will go a bit fast because we don't have much time. Okay. To go for some other functions. Okay. You just go and create one folder. Watch. Uh, you can name it whatever is it. Okay. Uh, Tanisha, okay, my daughter name, okay, Tanisha uh, Mendeley, okay. So, MP, you have to link this folder to your Mendeley desktop. You cannot do in Mendeley Reference Manager. You cannot do in Mendeley Web. You cannot do. You only can do in Mendeley desktop. That's why I prefer Mendeley desktop, okay. What I can do is I go watch folder, then you have to connect that one. Okay. Uh, my folder in desktop, right? Okay. I go to desktop. Okay. Uh, Tanisha. Okay. I just click Tanisha. Tick. You can choose as many as you can as your watch folder. This is fully automated function. Apply. So now I no need to think about, you know, adding the files manually or folder or add file. What I do is I go here. I just go to science direct. I just search like this. Let's say I search like this article, smart retailing. So I have a list of article that I got it. Okay. So there are a few functions you can use over here. Okay. Let's say I download this article. View PDF. Let's say view PDF. So this is the article. So what I can do is, I just download it. Download in the folder that I have created. Uh, how to get in Mendeley library? Could you show us one more time? Nikin, uh, there are three Mendeley library. You mean Mendeley library in your Mendeley desktop or Mendeley web or in your Mendeley reference manager? So while I'm waiting for the response from Lee Keen, I can continue. So I will download the article in Tanisha folder. I go to desktop and I put it in Tanisha folder. Save. So what article is this? Examining antecedents 
and consequences of perceived shopping value through smart retailing technology. Am I right? Okay. So I go to my Mendeley desktop. I just click sync first. Okay. Better sync. Okay, sometimes it's not uh, sync automatically. Okay. So this article that I kept in watch folder automatically available here. You see? Same right. This is the article that I downloaded examining the antecedents and it automatically in my folder with PDF file. It's very easy. So I can add as much as I can in this folder. Which folder? Adisha folder, which I connected as a watch folder. Can you follow the step? Is it okay? Or do I need to repeat again the watch folder function? Okay. First, okay, you have to create a folder like this. Okay. Create a folder like this. Okay. Just create an empty folder. Then go to Mandarin Desktop. Connect Watch Folder. Click Watch Folder. And choose the folder that you have created. Okay. So I have created folder under Mandarin Desktop Browse uh, Directory. So under Desktop. So Tanisha Mandarin. Okay. I tick. Okay. So my Mendeley desktop and that folder already linked. So once linked, whenever I download and keep files in my Mendeley uh, watch folder, which is Tanisha folder, everything will be automatically added. Okay, again, okay, that's the first thing. Second, you have to download. For example, I go to uh, Science Direct again. So I go to this article, okay. So this article, so I download this article. Sorry. Uh, so I download this article. Okay. It's a new article, pre-proof. Uh, it's still pre-proof. I don't know why. Okay, I just download. I keep in. Make sure you keep your... Ad uh, file in the Tanisha Mendeley folder, this one. Okay, Tanisha Mendeley, which I have created. Then I connect to my Mendeley desktop. You cannot do this function in your Mendeley reference manager. Okay, safe. So you see here, multi-method approach to examine. Okay, it's already in my Mendeley desktop. I just think uh, I can see that. Ah, this one. It's already there. So you see the same file that I downloaded and keep okay kept in the folder which has been linked to watch folder already in my Mendeley library. Okay. So now I think you got the point. Okay, just see one minute there. Eh? Okay, um, okay, so it's very simple. Okay, let's say I want to uh, put 200 article over here. Uh, just now, who asked this question, 200 article? Can we link and connect as many folder as we can? Yes, sure, you can. Just follow the same step. For example, I go to forge folder, I go here, I go to desktop, I have a lot of folders here, right? I can click one, two, okay? I can click, okay? Then apply. Uh, you see, Add, edit automatically. So 
That's the thing. Okay. Just now there is one question. Can I create 200 articles in one library? My original one, which I use every day, there are 3,532 materials in my Mandarin desktop. Okay, I create my own library. Okay. If let's say I want to add more, okay, now we have around 25 documents. Can I add more? I can add. Okay, let's say I want to add more articles. Uh, let me go to my uh, folders. Maybe I can go to um, my some PhD. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, this one. See, I can add. I can, you don't need to add, you know, uh, like that. You can add directly folder also can, like this. I can add as much, you know, as many I, I can add, okay? I see. I create a library first before I read. Okay, now you see it will update. Okay. See, just wait there uh, one minute. Eh? Your internet is very fast. You can go, it will go very fast. Now it's quite slow. If I do it this one at home, it's a bit faster. Okay. Okay, just hold on, just relax for a while, while it's, you know, the system update everything, boom. So now I have 156 documents. Okay, let me show to you, maybe you can't see that. From 10 documents, now I have, okay, let me show to you a magnifier. Okay. Read from here. See? Now I have 156 documents. Uh, sorry, yeah? Okay, just hold on. Now I have, uh, can you see the screen? Uh, 156 documents. That's the thing. Okay. Hold on, eh? Okay. So, that is the beauty of having a library in your Mendeley. So, I think uh, I have covered a few important things. Okay. So another beauty is whatever you update in Mendeley desktop, you can see in your Mendeley web and also Mendeley uh, reference manager. Now you see, eh? this is your all references. Now you see, everything is here. Okay, when I click this one, it will be updated automatically loading. Uh, it's syncing. So syncing means it will update. You see? The PDF updated. Can you see this one? The button. One by one become green color, green color, green color. It means syncing. Oh, sorry. I did not show you uh, the screen. Okay. So now I go to uh, Mendeley website. When I click sync, it automatically update one by one. So everything is here. And also I go to Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay. Everything will be here. Okay. It will take time sometimes. Okay. But anyway, it will sync.
that is the beauty of uh, having a Mendeley desktop as your reference manager. Okay. Uh, now you see it's updating one by one. It takes time because internet is very poor. Okay. I uh, see. And the documents already here. So I can click. I can click read. Uh, it will be like this. Okay. This is Mendeley Reference Manager. Okay, just now I told you right, install web importer. What is the function of the web in importer? Okay, web importer means uh, this function. If let's say you go to uh, size direct, it's only available in certain databases. Google Scholar can. Okay. Can I continue or you want uh, rest one minute? <laughs> Okay, no mind. Okay, let's say sign direct. I go and search smart retailing. Ooh. Then uh, let's say I choose this one, this one, because you can download this article, you know, it's a freely available. Just click like this. Okay. Uh, then you click, and also, if let's say not available, no mind. You just click like this. You go here, you click this one, this button. Mendeley Web Importer in your plugin. Okay, just click. Ah, you see? There are 25 references. You can choose like this. You can choose like this. Whatever you want, you feel you want. Don't simply add anything, okay? And you just add. Now you see here. Uh, uh, hold on, sorry, yeah. Okay. In your Mendeley desktop, okay, it's updating, okay. When you click like this and you add, it will be automatically at, for example, generation Z consumers, right? Later I will search. Okay, add. It will be automatically added in your Mendeley desktop, Mendeley web, and also in your Mendeley reference manager. Okay, so we can cross check whether it's already added or not. We can sync like this. Syncing, and we see here. Yeah? Okay, I search here. Yeah? Generation. that okay you see it's already here with pdf you don't need to crack your head okay you just directly import like that from the size direct google scholar and so on okay and it will be perfectly will be synced in three systems as i told you desktop mendeley Reference manager and web. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. Maybe you think we are using Mendeley Desktop for the citation and also Mendeley Reference Manager for the citation. So, what is the function of the Mendeley.com like this? Okay, this is your library. But if you don't want your library, what you can do is you just go to the Mendeley.com. Okay, Mendeley.com like this. Okay. Would you like to know the function of this one? This is the additional features that I can teach you. Would you like to know? Wonderful function I can teach you from this web. If you say yes, I will go. Okay. <laughs> okay. From Mendeley.com, when you click library, it will go to your Mendeley library. Something like this. Okay. And your Mendeley reference manager you will use for the citation okay citation and the reference list later i will go to uh, later will uh, sorry later i will go to that function okay we go first okay go first this one 
mendeley.com okay would you like to give any keywords anyone want to say something maybe you can give the name of the variable i can search for you and i can give the related article immediately which article suppose you read and you cite teacher education okay well being of fisherman okay you cannot search like that you know well being of fisherman you have to be very specific because well being is well being okay internal audit effectiveness okay uh let's say i go for the internal audit effectiveness okay when you search here you don't search like this it's wrong your algorithm or boolean search is wrong you have to put this one inverted comma or i think inverted comma okay like this double inverted comma okay because it will make sure this is as a term if you just type internal audit effectiveness it will assume internal as a one term audit as a one term effectiveness as a one term it will confuse so if you type this one like this okay then you can get it okay i search <coughs> ah you see ah uh, nora did you search like this before this or in a wrong way ah uh, so your uh, this is another training eh i'm not going to teach you how to use this method in your search this is another training i will do for my uh, my students and also some people will ask so i will do the searching techniques of the terms okay you see only terms come up internal audit effectiveness so from here you have to know most cited if let's say okay let me ask one question um sorry i just want to make sure it's uh, interactive no ra have you read have you read this article the first article desalen getty i don't know how to pronounce name yes okay if you read this article and you cite you are safe in your viva if you don't read don't cite you are in a big trouble because this is a top author most cited article most reason this what you can say and the beauty of this one is and most relevant and you can sort it out how many articles available for this one okay journal under 94 you can you don't want conference proceedings you can tick okay who is the top author siti zabaida zaidin okay our lecture writing okay so from here you can do lab some wonders what you can do is there are three functions i will teach you okay that's why you know this is a reference manager mendeley is not only reference manager it's more than that okay there are three functions you can use by this searching techniques or by using this method okay first you can add this article in your library directly you no need to download you no need to do anything just add to library okay okay it's already in your library okay we want to test i just go okay this is antecedent right i go to this one i just type okay antecedents antecedents and internal audit okay okay ah. this one already available here but if you want to add pdf you need to do some some manual techniques okay but if it's available okay you can add it manually okay you see ah. this one critical literature review on internal audit effectiveness if i add okay you see here yeah? ah, this one 
critical audit effectiveness okay i copy i search in my mendeley desktop okay i, just, I have to sync You see, the article is here. So what you do is, you go here, okay, go to your Mendeley web. You can view in PDF, like this, okay. You can download it. Or what you can do is, okay, you can go for the Mendeley web importer. Easy way. So it will directly import your PDF. For example, factors influence internal audit effectiveness. I just add, it will add with PDF, if I'm not mistaken, okay, add. Okay, I already added, this one is adding, okay. So, I just type, sorry, I just copy here, yeah. factor influencing, influence internal audit effectiveness, okay, I go here. I just type factors influencing audit. Okay. Uh, you have to sync first. Okay. So this one, what I can do, I can view PDF in library also. It will view in my Mendeley library. Okay, you see? It's automatically here. Okay, so I can, uh, I no need to download and add manually or add in, uh, okay, this one. Factor influence, oh, sorry, I wrongly type. Okay, I go to mental desktop. Factor influence, influence or date. Ah, you see, what is the difference when I add just like this, add to library, it won't add with PDF. But when I go to web importer, if that PDF is available, you can directly import PDF without downloading that. Okay, that's a beauty. So now I can click and I can read the article. Boop. Very easy. Okay. Second function, eh? function of this system is, okay, let's say, uh, who's that? Uh, Nura, right? Nura is doing about internal audit effectiveness. Okay, Nura. Okay. Sometimes, you know, how do you know if the article from the top journal when you do the search? Okay. It's very easy. Okay. Sometimes, you know, by the time you are reading a lot of article, automatically you know which journal is a good journal okay but if you want to know whether it's a good journal or not uh, there is another way i will do that one in another training actually i have a lot of trainings uh, i conduct a lot of trainings on literature search and so on okay so that is another trade but i will show to you a little bit how to make that uh, that article from the top journal okay uh if i have time i will cover uh, Mr. Siwa Rasa Ratnam. Okay. Okay, let me go to the another function. For example, Nura is very tiring of searching article repeatedly. Okay. What you can do is you can use the some snowball technique in searching materials. How to do that? Very simple. You click here, this one, and you click related. When you click related, it will give you some other article highly related to this area or this topic. You just click and see related. Boop. Yes, I hold on. Eh? It's internet problem a little bit. Okay. I click related. You see? Antecedent of organization performance. Okay. 
antecedent of organized performance, antecedent of the own performance, a lot of articles keep on coming. Am I right? Uh, Nora, is it really helpful for you? You don't need to search. So it will give the related article from here. See, everything related, highly related. See, and you can add to your library as well. And from here, you can go to the another related also. You click this one. Okay. Ah, so it will go to the Bentley right. Okay. Ah, so you can search this article here and you can go to the related as well. You can add to library as well. So you can search by related and related and related until you go. This is called, called as scrupulous. Okay. You have to go in-depth literature search okay you have to go pick available literature you don't ever say there is no literature it's going to be a big problem okay if you say there is no literature you are going to be another albert einstein okay there will be a literature even albert einstein also referred to the literature previous literature okay he came, even albert einstein also with unable to do without referring something. He has referred something. Okay. Nura, are you here? Wow. <laughs> Nura is very famous. Okay. So that's the function of this one. Eh? Uh, you can add manually. Okay. Just click add to library. You can use your web importer. When you use web importer, it can directly download PDF. And also you can use the related function. This function last time available in Mendeley desktop. Now not available. Okay. So apart from this, okay, you can do a lot of things, you know. Okay, you can uh, type A and D Malaysia also. Okay. It will list down only the Malaysia A and D. Ah. Because over here you cannot choose, you know, Malaysia. There is no function of Malaysia here. But you can use the A and D function. Uh, that's the thing. So this is searching technique. Okay, let me answer uh, before I go to the last function of the Mendeley. Okay, the question of uh, top general or not. Okay, if you want to know the good general or top general or not, you have to go to the scopus.com. That is one function. Okay, uh, before that, when you click and open this article, okay, for example, uh, Let's say you open related and you open this article, it will go like this, you know. Okay. And you can view in PDF also. Huh. If it's available, open access, you can view. Uh, just hold on. Eh? And from here, you can see, you know, uh, whether this article is very famous or not. Okay, you see. Uh, you can see there some profile. Okay. If you want to know the general is good or not, okay, just type this one. Go to scopus.com, better scopus.com, top general or not. Go to uh, search, sources. Okay, go to uh, title and just paste. Okay. Uh, this simple way, but okay, sorry. Uh, okay. Maybe I have to type. Sometimes it detect, won't detect. Okay, I just type. Information management and business review, right? If it's listed in, uh, oh my God. Okay. Okay. If it listed in the scopus, you can see that. If not, no. Okay. For example, maybe sometimes discontinue, you know. For example, let's say I choose this journal. Okay. Iranian Journal of Information Processing Management. Okay. Uh, you can see the rank of the journal. 
Uh, this is uh, so-called uh, Q4 general. Okay, not a Q1 general. If you want to know uh, whether Q, okay, Q1, Q2, or Q4, Q3, whatever is it, uh, this one discontinue general. Don't publish, eh? Discontinue it. Okay. Uh, so you can see. But while clicking this one, similar field, computer science and general computer science, which journal is the top journal in the world? Uh, you can see, see here, uh, this one. For the this category, computer science, this is their top journal. ACM, computing, survey, proceeding, because you look at the percentile and site score. This is the indicator. But this is sometimes not a perfect indicator as well. Okay. But this journal I know is one of the top journal. Okay. I think Mr. Siva, I answer your question. Okay. This is only for the scopus. If you want to go for the web of science, it's a different story. Okay. That one you have to go to JCR, General Citation Report which is not available in UUM. We have not subscribed that one. Okay. You have to go to the JCR. Okay. I just run a little bit. Okay. Now we have created a library. Now we are writing an article. How we can cite? Okay. Let's say we want to cite. There are two ways of doing that. Okay. We assume that our library is perfect. Okay. I want to add, I just write one article, okay, let's say my paragraph is like this, okay, let's say I have a paragraph like this, okay, I don't want to write anything, okay, let's say this is your paragraph, okay, so now you have written, uh, while you write, you can cite, okay, citation, there are two types of citation. Okay. In text citation, one is parenthesis, another one is narrative. Parenthesis mean okay, uh, in bracket David two thousand nine in bracket. That is we call it parenthetical, okay, or parenthesis, not parenthesis actually, parenthetical. Sorry, okay. Parenthetical citation is bracket David two thousand nine bracket. Oh, David, 2009, uh, semicolon, uh, then followed by, you know, uh, Davidson, 2022, followed by uh, Madhivanan, 2023, uh, something like that. Sometimes your citation can be ahead, you know. Some journals publish in advance, 2023. Even I have seen, you know, um, one article, 2024. And I have seen one article, you know, 5,154 authors. 5,154 authors. That is a, that is a top journal. It's a physics journal. Uh, physics journal from the nature. Okay. I think physical, uh, physics science letters, something like that. Okay. 5,154 authors. Just imagine, eh? 5,154 authors, okay? Uh, authors can be as many as they can, okay? Some medical journals, uh, many authors, okay? So now we want to cite parenthetical, first one. Another one is a narrative. Narrative means according to Davidson, bracket 2009. Uh, that is narrative citation, okay? Let me uh, go like this. I use... I click references, okay, I want to insert citation. I can use open manually. Then I have to choose, uh, okay, sometimes, you know, it will ask, use this style. Okay, done. Okay. So now I go to insert citation. You can search name if you know the name. If you do not know, you go to manually. Okay. So I can go and choose one citation here. If let's say I want to cite this one. You cannot cite from here, you know, you have to go to work and cite. Okay, first of all, what you do is insert citation, go to Mendeley and click cite. 
is going to be like this. Do you know why she and all at the first time become at all? Do you know the reason? Anyone can tell the reason? <laughs> why first time she and all? Okay. When you are using APA7, for the first time, the article written by more than two authors, first time chi at all, if you are using APA7. APA6 is different. Let me change to APA6. Eh? Okay. I can change here. Let's say I change to APA6 edition. You see? APA6 edition is going to be different. If I use APA7, that's why, you know, yeah, more than two people inging, but oh, okay, but eh? okay, correct. But ask your supervisor whether you want to go for AP6 or AP7. Because sometimes you're using AP7 and your supervisor using AP6, then it's going to create and con uh, create a conflict. Okay, it's going to be like a story of duck and chicken talking each other, but do not know the fundamental things. Okay, I straight away say this one, eh? because some student came to me and asked this question. Sir, uh, some people against my citation style. Why? Uh, they say wrong. Hey, no, this, that is not wrong. And say no, some people say wrong. Okay, then I found out, oh, the wrong mean the wrong thoughts. It's not about the wrong software. Because it's a conflict of APA 7 and APA 6. Okay, when I write, uh, when I write my thesis, I use APA 6. But when I publish, I use APA 7. But it can immediately change. If let's say you want to change to any, any other style, also can. For example, one, two, three, right? That one is I triple E. Like this. One. Okay. If let's say I change to APA 7, it's going to be like this. Okay. Can I add more than uh, two authors in this? Narrative citation can. I can insert citation. Go. Okay. I can insert. Go to Mendeley. I can choose many. For example, uh, I can choose this. I can click control. Two, three. I can click controller in my keyboard. Okay. Then I cite. Oh. Okay. Actually, it's wrong. What you have to do is you can highlight all of this and Merge citation. Okay. Okay. And your order of arrangement of your citation should be according to year or according to year, uh, name. It's supposed to be. Okay. Let me try. Eh? Now see that. Let me go for the A one. Okay. Insert citation. I go. Okay, let's say I go to this one. Anissa, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, let's say I go to another. Actually, it's going to go by, you know, uh, not by, <clears throat> sorry. Let me show to you. Then only you understand. Okay, in citation. Let's say I change the Anissa. Okay, I go to Ani uh, go to Anissa. And I change this one, okay. Let's see this one, I change it to 2008, okay. If I change here, it's automatically changed here, you know. Now, uh, 2021, right, I change my data here, it will be automatically changed here. Okay, I just refresh. Okay, you see. So it will arrange accordingly. Okay, I refresh. If I change to, uh, let's say Anissa, I change to Z. Okay, let's say this Anissa, I change to, uh, let's say Zoro. You see yeah, what happened? Eh? Refresh. Ah. You see. Then this Zoro I changed to, let's say I change, eh? I just want to play around. I just let you want to know. 2024. Okay. 
refresh. See? Still according to the name, it's not by the year. Eh? Okay, it's not by year. Okay, it's by name. Okay, but if I change to another one, let's say AP6, ah, very long. If I change to IEE, different story. One to five. Ah, that's the thing. Okay, so I just go to the seventh edition. Let's say I want to add another citation here. Insert citation. I go to Mendeley. I go here. Let's say I want to cite this one. Cite. Okay, this one is wrong actually. Okay. Ah. Let's say I want to go for according to. So I, what I can do is I can just do like this. Keep manual edit, and this one, uh, I have a two method. One you can edit manually. Okay, like this. But the problem is, it won't uh, automatically update when you change. You know, it's going to be different story. Okay, see. But that's the thing. Okay, but this, when you're using APA seven. Not a big issue. Okay, not a big issue. Don't worry. Okay. So after this, you want to create a reference list. What you do is you need a refresh page. So what you do, you go to layout, break page. Okay, next page. References. So you have to create a order. Okay. Over here. Create an order. Just click references. Oh. Then I go to references. Okay. Instead bibliography. Don't search for the references. Eh? It's a bibliography. Okay. Oh. Everything is here. Perfectly written with DOI. Okay. If I change to AP6, it's going to be different. Okay, if let's say I change to I triple E, it's going to be different. See? One to five, one to five. If I change to APA seventh, it's going to be like this. If let's say I add some more here, is it going to add automatically? Of course, it will add automatically. Insert citation, go to Mendeley. Let's say I want to cite all of this. These three, okay? This four, I want to cite. Oh. Ah, this four. Furling, Mahmud, Skupula. Okay, you see here. Furling is here. And it will organize accordingly. Alphabetical order. Mahmud. And you don't need to worry. You just add, 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 add. That's it. You can change accordingly. Ah. Whatever. Uh, University Kebangsaan Malaysia, UKM. Uh, this is UKM style. Okay, UKM style. Uh, UKM style is quite different, but it looks like an APA. Okay, uh, but I like this one, the number. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. So choose your style first, then you write. Don't simply change. Okay, this is for the Mendeley desktop. What about Mendeley uh, site? Mendeley site is different, you know. It's quite tedious. If you click Mendeley site, it's going to be like this. Ah, it will connect over here. Ah, you see. Ah, now it's syncing, you know. Ah, so if let's say I want to uh, add one article, eh? ah. citation style, okay, I want to cite, so insert citation, augmented reality from the uh, Nick Semi, okay, okay, hmm. I click refresh,
you see it can sync you can use both Mendeley desktop and Mendeley uh, reference manager and it will be updated automatically but don't make yourself uh, difficult you just answer you know uh, honestly which one is easy desktop or reference manager reference manager in one context but Mendeley desktop when you cite is very easy okay so I think that's it so I go beyond 15 minutes from the time that I've been given uh, I have given only two hours Thank you very much. Actually, there are so many things uh, I need to cover. But anyway, uh, you can uh, ask me personally from my number. Okay, I, I can give you, uh, I mean, from my WhatsApp. So, uh, I can give you my number. You can contact me. Um, okay, sir, you said more than two authors will be at all. But at times when I cite, it doesn't appear like that. Uh, maybe because of your APA, maybe your style. You have to change to APA 7. Okay. You have to change to AP7. It's because of the style. Okay, another beauty here. Uh, before I go, I just want to give you one tips. If you want to quickly read your article, all of this article, okay. If I'm your supervisor, I will ask you to bring the thesis, okay, which you use by using the Mendeley. Okay, I will do this one, you know. American Psychological Institution with the seventh edition with abstract. Okay. Wait, huh? Actually, it's supposed to click uh, with abstract. It will pop up here, but I don't know why it doesn't appear. Something wrong here. Okay. Uh, it's going to be like this, you know. Uh, maybe I can create a new page. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I insert citation okay then i click uh, references uh, bibliography when i click this one abstract uh, it's going to give you the abstract for each reference you see abstract you can read like that So this is a technique, but I cannot teach you today because I uh, don't have much time. So just download the references and you can directly read the abstract instead of reading the full article. So read the abstract, then only you move to full reading rather than wasting your time. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that's it from my side. I can leave my number over here. Notes is available. Uh, my number, I can put it here. 012 5353589. This is my number. Uh, let me share the screen. Ah. I think you can see my screen, eh? Okay. So thank you very much. I think it will be very helpful. Okay. Uh, uh, you can follow my Facebook if you want to know what I'm teaching uh, because I'm teaching a lot of softwares, uh, but even I teach the web designing. Okay, I'm a freelance web designer. Okay, I'm teaching uh, web designing mentally and you know how to use the Google uh, Google Suite, G Suite, okay, and a lot of things. Okay, you can check in my YouTube channel. Okay, you can check even, uh, okay, I forgot to tell you there are some materials in my YouTube channel you can refer also about the mentally full trainings. Okay, uh, you go to my channel. And this is not my channel, another channel. Okay, I have three channels. Okay, this one. Okay, uh, okay, I can put in my chat box. 
So there are some videos on Mendeley also available here. Okay, you can check over here. Okay, and do not forget to subscribe. <laughs> I can put in the chat box. And also you can check uh, in my website. Sometimes I update my website and my Facebook as well. I can just type my name, then you can follow my Facebook. I will update my training. Sometimes my trainings are paid, sometimes free. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much for your name and all the best for your PhD and also for your research. Thank you so much again and again. Okay. Thank you, uh, Madam Nisa. <laughs> And thank you also for the UMCOB postgraduate studies unit, which I mean, uh, they gave me a great opportunity for sharing session. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 